Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video closer look and comparison between Canonical's Ubuntu Touch operating system and Palm's WebOS, which was later picked up by HP. Both of these smartphone operating systems, and also capable of running on tablets, are gesture-based, and WebOS is obviously slightly older, so it really pioneered the concept of a stack of cards where you could open up any application, and then when you're done with it, flick it upwards from the bottom of the display, and then multitask by having all of these open applications that you can transition between, and then swipe up when you want to close the application completely. That was really that first uh, implementation of, of this uh, card function that was later recycled on iOS, Android, uh, even on Mego and uh, Ubuntu Touch. So there's a lot of DNA that we have to be thankful of WebOS for giving us, at least conceptually in terms of ideas. Otherwise, of course, being a newer platform, there's a lot more going on with Ubuntu Touch. It's also more ambitious in the sense that, again, it has that convergence feature where you can connect it to a larger display and transform it into a regular Ubuntu desktop. So the idea of having a computer in your pocket is powerful and it's long been a dream in this uh, consumer electronics industry. So if we take a closer look at the main screen here, there is a lock screen on both phones, but with WebOS, it's just going to give you a time and date information and maybe some notifications from the top uh, once those become available, whereas on the Ubuntu Touch, there's a symbolic clock, um, pretty similar, in addition to a regular digital clock and some notifications. On Ubuntu Touch, there's also this notification tray where it gives you more divided tabs into things like battery status, sound, Wi-Fi network, um, as opposed to all in one place where you might see on WebOS, you have access to your battery status, notifications, and wireless options, mostly consolidated in this one tab or area. So there's a bit more of division going on with Ubuntu Touch. Otherwise, how the main screens are set up is also quite different. With uh, WebOS, it's kind of similar to iOS and Android in the sense that we have just a row on the bottom of our commonly used applications pinned there. We can kind of see the same notion with uh, Ubuntu Touch with this row on the side of the display, which is kind of like your taskbar or um, your home bar in Mac or on a Linux PC. These involve uh, applications that I use the most. I can pin down. I can also open them up, such as a dialer pad, such as my contacts, my email, in addition to uh, maybe my uh, calendar as well. To access more applications on the WebOS platform, I tap on this home key icon and that gives me a very traditional list of uh, vertically scrolling um, applications and this is everything that I have installed on the phone. Uh, it's similar to the Ubuntu Touch in the sense that all your apps are also located in this one page and I can scroll up and down. What Ubuntu Touch also gives you is two more screens, one dedicated for music, one for video, but these you can't customize really and you aren't able to uh, delete these pages for instance. Um, and in addition, most of your applications again are installed in this one place. So how this is set up is kind of similar. Um, otherwise I can close this up by swiping up and going back to this main screen where I would be able to see all my currently open applications and multitask. In terms of multitasking, how it's set up on Ubuntu Touch is a little different. You use another swipe gesture to access that, different from the main home page. You swipe from the right-hand edge of the display to the left to access, in again, a card view, all of your open tabs and applications. I can close it up again, like flicking upwards, just you saw, just like how you saw with the WebOS platform. And so if I tap on something after a few seconds, I want to get rid of this application, I swipe up and then go from the bottom to the top to get rid of it. So that's how multitasking is set up on both of these phones. One gesture that WebOS has, which is nifty, is no matter, you know, whatever program I'm in, maybe I'm in the dialer pad, maybe I'm in the web browser, and if I still want to access my bottom few applications, like going into my contacts or going to all of my apps, um, I can do that by swiping from the bottom to the top, and this gesture brings up this same bar that I saw before, and I can access that content. Same notion is found on Ubuntu. No matter what application I'm in, such as in messaging, in the browser, in the camera, if I still want to access my pinned desktop uh, number of icons, it can always swipe from the edge here and access it. So in this sense, both of these have the same ideas uh, sketched out in slightly different ways, which is fairly interesting. Otherwise, as far as how the icons are displayed, um, I would say there are more differences than similarities, not only because there's an age difference between the, between the two, but you can see how with uh, Palm's WebOS, you can see all of the apps are mostly laid out by uh, this transparent background where they just have an icon for whatever is being displayed on the camera, whereas it's a bit more cohesive on Ubuntu Touch, similar to, web to iOS with these rounded corners that's a bit more 
more cohesive across the entire platform. On here, it's a bit more scattered, um, but that's just an aesthetic difference between the two. Otherwise, core functionality when it comes to having these settings that you can go through turning on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, memo pad, which you can tap on to write quick notes uh, using the keyboard, tasks, and also the clock. These are basic things that are you know, features you'll find on all, all of all of these uh, operating systems, but slight differences in how they are displayed uh, from a UI perspective, but uh, similar functions in terms of turning on alarms and setting that process up. So anyways, guys, that's been a closer look at some of the similarities and differences between the design and uh, the way that WebOS as well as Ubuntu Touch operate. I have to say that there is actually a surprisingly large amount of DNA that Ubuntu Touch shares from its uh, gestures with uh, WebOS since WebOS came out first. Obviously, Ubuntu did their own thing and customized the way that it looks and the way that it feels. It's more complete, it's more advanced, and it has more potential, of course, now in the future. But uh, WebOS really did have many of these same concepts of having this really nice drawer of apps that you will always use and these gestures of swiping up and also swiping left and right between apps and closing them up in this card view. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This was a closer look and comparison between Ubuntu's Touch operating system and the WebOS operating system.